The Quasi Zenith Satellite System is a project of the Japanese government for the development of a four satellite regional time transfer system and a satellite based augmentation system for the United States operated Global Positioning System to be receivable in the Asia Oceania regions, with a focus on Japan. The goal of QZSS is to provide highly precise and stable positioning services in the Asia-Oceania region, compatible with GPS. Four satellite QZSS services QZS4 are available on a trial basis as of January 12, 2018, and officially started on November 1, 2018. topic history In 2002, the Japanese government authorized the development of QZSS, as a three-satellite regional time transfer system and a satellite-based augmentation system for the United States-operated Global Positioning System to be receivable within Japan. A contract was awarded to Advanced Space Business Corporation ASBC, that began concept development work, and Mitsubishi Electric, Hitachi, and GNSS Technologies Inc. However, ASBC collapsed in 2007, and the work was taken over by the Satellite Positioning Research and Application Center SPAC, which is owned by four Japanese government departments, the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications, the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, and the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism. The first satellite, Michibiki, was launched on the 11th of September 2010. Full operational status was expected by 2013. In March 2013, Japan's cabinet office announced the expansion of QZSS from three satellites to four. The $526 million contract with Mitsubishi Electric for the construction of three satellites was scheduled for launch before the end of 2017. The third satellite was launched into orbit on 19 August 2017, and the fourth was launched on 10 October 2017. The basic four-satellite system was announced as operational on November 1, 2018. Topic Orbit QZSS uses three satellites, in highly inclined, slightly elliptical, geosynchronous orbits. Each orbit is 120 degrees apart from the other two. Because of this inclination, they are not geostationary, they do not remain in the same place in the sky. Instead, the ground traces are asymmetrical figure 8 patterns analemmas, designed to ensure that one is almost directly overhead elevation 60 degrees or more over Japan at all times. The nominal orbital elements are topic <laughs> satellites Topic. QZSS and positioning augmentation The primary purpose of QZSS is to increase the availability of GPS in Japan's numerous urban canyons, where only satellites at very high elevation can be seen. A secondary function is performance enhancement, increasing the accuracy and reliability of GPS-derived navigation solutions. The quasi-zenith satellites transmit signals compatible with the GPS-L1C, a signal, as well as the modernized GPS-L1C, L2C signal and L5 signals. This minimizes changes to existing GPS receivers. 
Compared to standalone GPS, the combined system GPS plus QZSS delivers improved positioning performance via ranging correction data provided through the transmission of submeter class performance enhancement signals L1SAIF and LEX from QZSS. It also improves reliability by means of failure monitoring and system health data notifications. QZSS also provides other support data to users to improve GPS satellite acquisition. According to its original plan, QZSS was to carry two types of space-borne atomic clocks, a hydrogen maser and a rubidium atomic clock. The development of a passive hydrogen maser for QZSS was abandoned in 2006. The positioning signal will be generated by a RB clock and an architecture similar to the GPS timekeeping system will be employed. QZSS will also be able to use a two-way satellite time and frequency transfer scheme, which will be employed to gain some fundamental knowledge of satellite atomic standard behavior in space as well as for other research purposes. Topic. QZSS timekeeping and remote synchronization Although the first generation QZSS timekeeping system TKS will be based on the RB clock, the first QZSS satellites will carry a basic prototype of an experimental crystal clock synchronization system. During the first half of the two-year in-orbit test phase, preliminary tests will investigate the feasibility of the atomic clock-less technology which might be employed in the second generation QZSS. The mentioned QZSS TKS technology is a novel satellite timekeeping system which does not require onboard atomic clocks as used by existing navigation satellite systems such as GPS, GLONASS, NAVIC or Galileo system. This concept is differentiated by the employment of a synchronization framework combined with lightweight steerable onboard clocks which act as transponders rebroadcasting the precise time remotely provided by the time synchronization network located on the ground. This allows the system to operate optimally when satellites are in direct contact with the ground station, making it suitable for a system like the Japanese QZSS. Low satellite mass and low satellite manufacturing and launch cost are significant advantages of this system. An outline of this concept as well as two possible implementations of the time synchronization network for QZSS were studied and published in Remote Synchronization Method for the Quasi-Zenith Satellite System and Remote Synchronization Method for the Quasi-Zenith Satellite System, study of a novel satellite timekeeping system which does not require onboard atomic clocks. Topic. See also Global Navigation Satellite System GNSS, Multifunctional Satellite Augmentation System MSAS, Inclined Orbit